As the title of this video suggests, I'll show you how to conduct sentiment analysis using the popular data integration web service Zapier and Amazon's Mechanical Turk. All right, so first, sentiment analysis is a process which gathers the latest input from a human source or several human sources and uses it to determine the general opinion of a person, place, or thing. For example, the old-fashioned comment boxes and comment cards is a form of sentiment analysis. Often called opinion gathering, sentiment analysis can be generated from various technological sources like Twitter or Facebook. And like the old-fashioned comment box, sentiment analysis can help owners or managers find the strengths and weaknesses of a business. So it's used for businesses to gather the overall feeling that consumers have about their products. And so in this video, I'll show you how to integrate Twitter with Google Spreadsheets so that when a certain keyword is mentioned in a tweet, that tweet will populate on a new row in the workbook. With enough data gathered, I'll then submit it to Mechanical Turk for users to rank in order to come to a consensus regarding the subject at hand. Now please note that there are powerful computer algorithms that can be used to perform sentiment analysis or you can build your own by creating a database of keywords and phrases that connote positive or negative emotions in order to summarize a tweet. The problem is that it's difficult for computers to recognize sarcasm, spam, and emotion in general. Fortunately with Mechanical Turk, actual humans analyze the data quickly and accurately. You can use that information as the basis for your own data model for future analysis. All right, let's begin. So one of my favorite new sites is Zapier. With just a few clicks, you can set up a trigger on one web service that sets off an action on another using API calls. Hop on over to zapier.com, set up an account, and play around with their integrations, referred to as Zaps, to see how you can mix and match data together from different sources. To create the zap in this example, drag and drop the Twitter icon and I just dropped it on the integration side and choose search mention for the trigger and then drop Google Docs to the right side of the integration and use create spreadsheet row as the action. On the next page add your Twitter and Google Docs accounts. And then enter a search keyword. So I'm going to use Obama in this example. And next you want to open up Google Docs and create a new spreadsheet. And then add title as a header in cell A1. And then put some dummy data in the cell just beneath. And I'm going to go ahead and save that as Obama. And I'll put it in today's date 10 07 2012. Okay. Then back on Zapier, select a new spreadsheet. and the worksheets and then drag and drop the text field over to the column on the right and you can test the integration here but let's just go ahead and enable for now and you can see my integration or my zap here Now you just need to wait a few days or weeks and you'll have a spreadsheet full of valuable data right for analysis. Pretty simple, right? I just so happen to have already set up an integration which ran the day of the presidential debate on October 3rd, 2012, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And I pulled roughly 10,000 tweets, which you can see here. And I don't think this is all of them. Now this is 3,000 of them, so 
I actually have this on a different spreadsheet, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one now. Now you can parse the text if you want to remove the URLs and hashtags to make the data cleaner, but since actual human beings will be analyzing this, there really is no need. But you do need to remove any special characters in the text or else you won't be able to upload your file. So start by saving your file in CSV format. I then like to use a Western European character set in Notepad++. So I'm going to go ahead and open the file from my desktop, edit with Notepad++. And then I'm going to go ahead and do encoding, character sets, Western European. And then I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, so now we want to turn to Mechanical Turk. And so you want to register as a requester. And I am already registered. So then you want to go through the steps of creating a new sentiment analysis project. So do create new project sentiment. And you can see an example here of what that is going to look like. Click create project. Obama here. Click next. So I like to do five different rankings from positive two to negative two, and negative two being the most negative, zero being neutral, and two being the most positive. I then like to have five people look at each tweet to get an average consensus because it's sometimes even hard for humans to recognize sarcasm and understand context. So next you want to upload your CSV, you then set your price point per task, and then you can analyze the results as they, you begin to come in. And so there are plenty of methods you can use to manage your workforce and raise the accuracy of the rankings, but that's beyond the scope of this video. For now though, just be aware that paying a fair wage and having at least three people review each tweet are the two best ways to increase the overall accuracy of the rankings. All right, that's all for now. In the next video, I'll show you the results of the analysis I conducted on Obama. Thanks for watching.